combine to columns in Excel. Hi, this is Extend Office. Today we will talk about methods to combine columns in Excel. First, we will learn the easiest and most basic way to combine to columns, which involves utilizing the ampersand symbol. As you see here, I have first names in column A and last names in column B. To create full names in column C by combining the names, I will start by selecting cell C2 and then type an equal sign and select the first cell we want to combine. Then type an ampersand and a space enclosed with quotation marks and type another ampersand and select the next cell you want to combine. Now press enter. At this point, the first name and last name on the first row have been successfully combined to create a full name. Now, double click on the fill handle to apply the formula to below cells. The two columns are combined in no time. Note that if you prefer a separator other than a space, for example, a comma, you can simply replace the space in the formula with a comma, and you can even replace the separator with any characters you want. If you need to combine more than two columns, for example, in sheet 2, we have first name, middle name and last name. And in column D, we already have combined values in columns A and B. To include column C, we simply repeat the pattern of the formatting and add the value in column C. In this section, we will talk about how to quickly combine columns without a formula in only a few clicks. First, select the columns to be combined and include a blank column where we will put the combined result. Then, click QTools, Merge and Split, Combine Rows, Columns or Cells without losing data. In the pop-up dialog box, select Combine Columns, and then select a separator you need. In this example, I will select Other Separator, and enter a comma followed by a space, which will make the combined text easier to read. Then, select Right Cell in the Place the Results to box, and choose Keep Contents of Combined Cells. At last, click OK. The complete address information is consolidated into column E now. If you want to directly combine the source data in place instead of placing the combined result in a new location, simply select the range that you need to combine. Click QTools, Merge and Split, Combine Rows, Columns or Cells without losing data. Keep these options unchanged and select Left Cell here and choose Delete Contents of Combined Cells. Click OK to directly merge the original data in place. Excel has three commonly used functions for combining data, which are concatenate, concat and text join. In this section, we will talk about how to merge data from two columns into a single column using concatenate as an example. First, I will select the cell C2, which is the top cell of the column where I will combine the two columns. Then, input the concatenate formula. Here, I am using space as the separator as well and press enter to combine the first name and last name on the first row. Then double click on the fill handle to combine names on the below rows. Remember that you can always replace the space in the formula to other separator or characters just like what we did when using ampersand. If you need to combine more than two columns, extend the pattern to merge additional columns. As you see here, if you use a regular formula we talked above to combine columns that contain a mix of text, numbers, dates, and other data types, the formatting of the numbers will be lost, resulting in the combined results becoming unreadable. So, in this section, we will learn how to combine columns while preserving the correct number formatting. As we see here, the first value in column 1 is a text string, and the first value in column 2 is a formatted number, a date with the month and day displayed without leading zeros. So, instead of directly concatenating these two values with the ampersand operator as we did previously, we should first use the text function to convert the date in cell B2 to a text string using the specified format code, so that the combined result will maintain the appearance of the date. Here I will use the formula text function to display the formula I used. The value in cell B3 is a number in 12 hour time format with AM, PM. To convert the time to a solid text string, use the text function with its format code.
then press enter to combine the columns and display the time correctly. The cell B4 contains a number with two decimal places. To combine the values on row 4, use the text function with this format code. To combine columns containing a currency value in dollars with thousand separators, use the text function with this format code. To combine columns containing a percentage with one decimal place, use the text function with the following format code. To combine columns with fractional format, use the text function with the following format code. By now, we have successfully combined the text from column 1 with the formatted numbers from column 2. If you have a differently formatted number, simply replace the existing format code within the text function with the appropriate code for your specific number format. KuTools for Excel's Combine feature simplifies the process of combining text and formatted numbers by preserving their formatting without the need to write any formulas. To do so, please select the columns to be combined and include a blank column where we will put the combined result. Then, click KuTools, Merge and Split, Combine Rows, Columns or Cells without losing data. In the pop-up dialog box, select Combine Columns. Specify a desired separator. In this example, I will use a space, then select right cell to place the results to the most right column. At last, select keep contents of combined cells and check use formatted values. Click OK. Now, the values from the first two columns are combined in column C. If you prefer to combine the columns in place without placing the combined result in a new location, select the columns you want to combine. Then, on Kutal's tab, click merge and split. Combine rows, columns or cells without losing data. In the dialog box, keep these options unchanged and select the left cell option to place the combined result in the leftmost column of the selected range. Then select the delete contents of combined cells option. Make sure the use formatted values option is checked and click OK. The original data are merged in place without losing any formatting. Now, I will introduce you to the notepad method, which allows you to effortlessly combine columns containing formatted numbers without creating a format code for your data. Note that the method is suitable for combining adjacent columns only. First, select the adjacent columns to be combined and press Ctrl and C to copy them. Then, press Windows key and S to open the Windows search bar. Type Notepad, then select Notepad from the results. In the Notepad window, Press Ctrl and V to paste the copied columns. Now, select the separator between the column values and press Ctrl and C to copy it. Press Ctrl and H to open the Find and Replace dialog box and then press Ctrl and V to paste the copied separator to the Find What box. Then, enter the separator you need in the Replace With box. Here I will enter a space. Click Replace All and close the dialog. Now, press Ctrl and A to select everything and then press Ctrl and C to copy the selected text. Go back to your Excel worksheet. Select the top cell of the desired location where you will put the combined result, and then press Ctrl and V to paste the copied text. Now you have successfully combined the two columns. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.